Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. So last time we did a greed mode run with Eden and today we're going to play Lazarus because he still has a bunch of shit to do. So let's get started. Mind you, I need to not uh, not give him as much grief as I normally do because he did technically get me Dark Boy a few episodes ago. Anyway, here's the seed. Lazarus starts off with negative one luck and a pill, which is a bad pill. It's so bad I'm actually quite willing to restart the game, but I won't because that's cheating. And I never cheat in this series. He also has really bad range. A am I sure that was a speed down and not a range down pill? Anyway, he needs to do boss rush, hush, dark room, and mega scene. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Not really a lot of time to do it in. So I need damage ups. Alternatively, I need Sacred Heart. Like, I will take both. If I get a really bad Devil Room to start off with, I will save myself for Angel Rooms, but let's face it, anything is better. Like, oh, okay, almost anything. The, the bean is not, it's like an automatic fire button. Which respawns once a room. I really want a bomb so I can get that so I have a chance. Uh, guys, okay, fine, you guys can all hide in the corner. You're dead. I really would have preferred one of them to come over there. I would like to get that trinket too. That would increase my range so much. My range, which we have already established, is not very good. I got very lucky not to get hit that time. Anyway. Damn it. Okay, well that's first hit. Barry, that's gonna be so useful. It's not actually. I mean if it respawned within the same room then fair enough. And I think there's a challenge which basically is that. Okay, we do it will deal some poison damage. So Lazarus has a respawn. It respawns with one heart, I think slightly better range, and zero luck. So he goes from a negative luck to zero, which is technically a positive. Is it? I don't know. I, I'm not a math person. Can somebody who knows math tell me if zero is technically a positive or if it's just a null value? I would say it's a null value, but that's because I like the word null. I'm gonna call this run null. Even if I do everything I wanted, it's gonna be a null run. Anyway, we're still fighting Monstro because we have terrible stats. So I'm hoping for a really good devil room. Which I'm not gonna get this a uh, uh, get yet because wrong floor. I need to see if I can find a bomb so I can open that tinted rock because otherwise I will lose my double room chance first off and I'm not going to get it because game hates me. I'm not even going back for that health. It's too risky. So yeah, we're screwed. Bye bye. See ya. Although again, I have to remind myself, we got Dark Boy. We got Dark Boy. We died immediately afterwards, but we technically got Dark Boy. Anyway, curse the darkness, turn it the light. I can't go in there because I would lose my double room chance. So once I lose, I will go in there. You know, when my room is dark like this, I can actually see the fact that people keep messaging me on my phone. And wow, I really wish I had a freaking bomb. I wish I had a million quid. Damn it. Alright, I was seeing if that could have been the top secret room. You can't blame a girl for trying. Anyway, hot bombs. So we get five more bombs and our bombs leave a burning residue on the ground, which will damage enemies, but we can walk in it fine. Like, look. We can dance in the fire, trapped in this machine. Oh no, they're free. I made terrible choices. Especially because I don't want the black flies to get to the poop. They get to the poop, they can turn into big flies. Alright, uh, you guys need to die. 
You can also explode. Like, that's no problem. Cool. Alright, buttons. Can't spawn anything too terrible. Hey, ton of bombs. Nice. Nice, nice. Where were the bombs last floor game? The game's not gonna answer me. I don't know why I, I, I accuse it. Like, if I talk to a video game long enough, do you think it'll talk back? And the answer is no. Not unless it's self-aware and... Quite honestly, if there's a game that I don't want to become self-aware, I would say The Binding of Isaac is probably a... Not that I have any problem with The Binding of Isaac afterwards, just... Think about it. The idea of this game becoming self-aware? That's a horrifying thought. Okay. Good thing I got that uh, soul heart immediately. That's probably the only thing that's keeping our devil room alive right now. Right. Nice. Alright, so we got it. I'm gonna check and see if there's any tinted rocks. I mean, if there's one next to the bomb, eh, to the things, that's basically like a free thing. A free thing. Free soul heart. Top secret room? I'm good. Well, debatable. Debatable. Anyway, let's go fight the boss so that I can hopefully get it. Alright, poison dealt with him quite well. Now I just gotta take it all the way, man. Take it home. Can you please stop spawning poop in my way? Alright, so we'll, t we'll save the health up. I was gonna take it, but... No devil room! Are you kidding me? I need the devil deal! Alright, cursed eye. I don't want that. I already have terrible luck. Why give me cursed eye? Right, well that sucks, so I guess I'm just gonna take the health up now. So an HP up, tears up, and a shot speed down. I wanna go to the curse room. And just fart on everything. That's a totally normal reaction to have, by the way. Like, you know, if you get in a game and things look like they're going badly, just fart on everything and you will live. And by the way, if you're actually taking life advice from me, then I'm not sure why, but I like you if you're taking life advice from me. You know, I've been alive for almost 25 years. I know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, I can hear my own eyeballs rolling from back here. Alright, you poisoned him. Uh, any more tinted rocks? No, no. I can't go into the shop. I was going to say I could, but I can't. Anyway, we will be going into the next floor with negative health. Unless this is good. I'm stuck in a pile of poop. So far, we are making terrible time for Bullish Rush. Like, awful, awful time. We need to catch up. We can't go to the shop. And we don't have any soul hearts. Sucks to be us. Let's go. And we're probably going to get an angel room, which means we can get key pieces, but I don't want key pieces. I want... Honestly, I would rather have something good. Anyway. Let's just not take damage. A range up wouldn't go it wouldn't go amiss. We're getting a lot of drops from poop right now though. I gotta be careful because these guys like to be super unpredictable. It's fine. Alright, keep going. 
Uh, okay, there goes the double deal. So, I'm basically freelance now. I was kind of hoping that was the secret room. I could have used those guys for free, but I don't have the patience. Okay. I don't have any keys. I should have realized that sooner. Why did I not? Oh, well, at least we have a heart. Why did I pick that up the first time? Keep going. Alright, I need keys. These guys are annoying. I feel they have too much health. Although they did get rebalanced to be more doable to kill, so... Can't complain too much. Except I can and I will, because you guys know me. You know what I'm like. Okay. I'd love to get that, but I would die in the process. Because I have no idea how much health I have, which means I probably have a lot less than I think I do. Keep going. Plenty of bombs, if only I had a key. Nope, easy does it. Easy does it. They're swarming me. They're trying to get me. I'm not particularly attached to this run. Like, I wouldn't complain if we died. Ah! Okay. That would have been a full heart damage. And he's gonna respawn. Unless I stop him. Because I know what I'm doing. I don't actually know what I'm doing. I don't know why I keep telling you that I do, but I honestly don't. Okay. These guys have far too much health. And also that little thing is too fast. I, I'm i surprised I didn't get hit there. Finally, a key. Now I gotta backtrack all the way. We are not making boss rush of this way, I can tell you that much. But mind you, it could be something good. It could be a uh, flight, maybe. Or the ability to remote detonate my bombs. Although I can use this, actually. There's a little trick I discovered with uh, the blue fires recently that I'd like to try out. See if it's still in the game. I think it is. I don't think it's had enough time to get patched. Or if they do intend to patch it, I don't know. So I'll try it. If I get a chance. Which I might not. And of course I will... Make enemies walk into fire wherever they may. Perfect. I can go into the shop. Hopefully get something good. Maybe some mapping. Or the ability to see my damage. And of course you're gonna make me do it the hard way. Alright, so spider mod lets me see how much damage I'm doing to enemies. And if it comes in contact with an enemy, it will... Oh, okay, that was my respawn. That really sucks. It, does, it gives them a status effect. I had honestly forgotten about Lazarus' respawn. Finally. I don't know why I pressed the button. I'm just gonna restart and pretend that didn't happen. That'll be the null value. So, here's the new seed. We're gonna go into the crush room immediately because it's not Curse of the Maze. And this time, I will not take the blue pill. Because pills are generally bad. For me. If you have luck with pills, 
good for you, but I don't. So hopefully we get a better item room to start off with. I'm gonna see if this is maybe the secret room. An early secret room is good. And we got our health back, more money and bombs, and a lucky penny. And a lot more money. Very nice, very nice indeed. Maybe we could get an early shop, a first floor shop, and it could have a steam sale? That would be awesome. It would be unlikely, but it would be awesome. I really don't have time to put out all these fires, so I'm literally just going to pass by and leave. Here's my tinted rock, and I will pick up the soul heart on my way out the floor. Just so that I have it ready for the next floor. Already I'm feeling a lot better about this run. Now these guys can kill themselves on fire, and I think one of them did. Alright, so that is a slight damage up, and it basically causes enemies to get concussed. You know, they'll wander around going, I don't know what's happening. What way is up? So game, this is your last chance to give me a key for the shop, which I need. And would really like if you... If you'd kindly. Would you kindly game? No, of course not. So, secret room? This is top secret room. Alright. Pheromones. Tears up, that's a good pill. And that, that's all the luck I'm going to waste on it, because... If I try anymore, it'll go badly. Anyway, double baby monstro. Unfortunate. That guy got concussed quite early on. The idea is if we focus on one, they'll eventually die. And I think I've been focusing on both of them, so I'm immediately ignoring my own advice. But just one at a time. And you will get there. See? Just like that. So I'll take the HP up, and I'm going to go back for a soul heart, and then we'll leave the floor. We will leave with no bombs, no keys to our name. But gosh darn it, we have a fire in our heart and soul. We could get uh, an arcade on the next floor. That's always an option. I apologize for all the gulping that's always happening in my Let's Plays, but I'm addicted to tea. I must drink it all the time. And I immediately lose half the soul heart. Good job, me. Pat yourself on the back. Waiting for the boom. So I believe having negative luck actually affects what kind of drops you get, which is why we probably are struggling for keys. It's sucky, but... Unfortunately, the only thing we can do to avert it is to die. I'm not ready to die quite yet, not unless I get like a super amazing deal with the devil. Then I will die. And only then. I also need a range up game. Game, help me. I'm not taking that and you can't make me. I picked a bad time to touch my nose there. You know, take my hand off the keys. I need a key. Need a key. Need a bomb. Need everything. Help me. Finally. Now the question is, do I go to the item room or the shop? And I'm going to go to the item room. No, I'm going to go to the shop because if there's nothing in there, I could probably buy a key. And I can buy the piggy bank so that I make sure I get tons of money. This was a good pill? No, it was not. I can't remember what that one does, but... 40 hour energy. Okay, it'd be nice if I had a use item. So piggy bank, I drop money when I take damage. 
Oh, question mark causes curse on the maze. I forgot. Okay. Can't go to the Curtis room yet because I still have a chance to... Uh, I think that was a larger one and that causes you to drop the one makes you a larger pill. Or a one makes you a larger pill, so we don't want that. Okay, counterfeit penny. I pick up coins. They have a chance to spawn one... Uh, give me one extra coin than they're actually worth. It can be quite good. Uh, it's not my favourite of the penny trinkets, mind. My favourite one is still Lucky Penny. I mean, Flat Penny. Ideally, I'd like to have a run where I have like all the penny trinkets. Or at least a couple of them. Oh dear god. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right. Okay, there goes the devil room. <sighs> okay. I'm going to the crush room now because it's a terrible idea. And that's why we're doing it. Especially if the game's going to do that. You cheating son of a bitch. So using the temporary invincibility, we will go in and out and get the health back. Could go in there? Strikes me it's a terrible idea. Still doing terrible for time. Alright, little horns should be fine. Admittedly, I don't have a whole hell of a lot of damage to take out those things, but I have enough knockback. Especially if I can concuss them. Yeah, that's right, keep doing that. I mean, I could still get a double room, but it's very, very unlikely. See? So we'll just get crack jacks. I don't want that. That can respawn me as a loss, and I've already unlocked him, so yeah. Curse of the maze, so I'm gonna teleport about randomly. Again, my favourite. Isn't it yours? Just need to be careful in case any of them start facing up towards me. Okay. Damn it, okay. No more devil rooms or angel rooms. You know what I haven't seen in a long time? I haven't seen Goathead. I would love Goathead to show up one of these days. Prove that it still exists and it's a beautiful thing. Anyway. I'm not bombing for that. It's not worth. This could be a secret room though. And it is. How lovely. Need to be careful though. Because everything in this room wants me dead. And I do mean everything. That guy could drop hearts. That'd be nice of him. I'd appreciate it. And he did! Nice! Got a key. Perfect. More money. We are profiting. Alright, Curse of the Maze. I know you want to take effect. I want You want to teleport me somewhere nice. One room over. I mean, that is nice, admittedly. So many keys. Such a difficult room too. Just take care of the Globins, aka the red guys, and then take care of the Baba Poops. Okay, I've got enough keys now. Thank you. It's appreciated. 
I'm not gonna lie and say it's not, because again, the second I sound ungrateful, you take away everything you're giving me, but I'm okay for keys right now. I want this guy dead. Well, I'm already not getting a double arm, so. What's well, another hit? I will buy a soul heart from the shop if I get a chance. But the shop's not here. Alright. Credit card, I can buy everything in the shop for free. Does, does that apply to devil rooms? I think it only applies to the shop. Which we still haven't found. Oh god. How much to kill these guys in one hit? More than I can afford? My firstborn child? Okay then. I'll get right on that. How what? How? Your head was fucking down! Game, stop cheating! Your head was down, you shouldn't have shot at me. Oh great. That was something that was entirely not my fault. Got bombs finally. So what's in the iron room? Forever alone, a uh, far away attack fly. I need the... I'm going to the shop. Joker will take me straight to the devil room, which I'm probably going to need, honestly. Uh, mapping, yes. Why did I buy that? Oh well. Might as well just go now. I don't really like black powder. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Like... Well, it's good for enemies that are on the ground, but I don't want it. So we're probably going to get in rooms now. Are you good? You're another joker. I think I should take that. I should have used the credit card. But I'm getting so much money that it doesn't really matter. Speaking of things that doesn't really matter, our chances of making it to boss rush. Yeah, I know, they're hilarious. Alright, so Pestilence will get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages that do contact damage to enemies. Just like the Forever Alone fly. Forever Alone does not do nearly as much damage as, say, Distant Admiration. But still, every little helps. I'm kind of hoping we don't earn this devil room because then we have a better chance of earning the next one. Yep, see. Alright, let's go. We might be able to start making up time. But this is our run that if it did make it to boss rush, we wouldn't be able to survive it. That's as much as I'm willing to spend. I'm um, blowing you up because you're a jerk. So much freaking money. Alright, so what's over here? Anything worthwhile? Not really. Okay, well these guys cause you to lose money if they damage you, so... That's sucky. He's gonna burst into tears. Alright, gotta go down now. That's the secret room, because that's an implied doorway. I'm getting better at reading the map. Right, you're good. I can't blow you up. That's fine. You can live. Get some orbital damage in when I can. Bomb back. 
Uh, keep going down. There's the item room. And this is probably where we're going to take a bunch of damage. Easy does it. The noises that they make are truly monstrous. The large ones, I mean. And by the way, if he drops a pellet, it'll be one make you larger. But he didn't, so I don't have to prove it. And I'm not going to. Alright, Halo of Flies. So now I have full orbitals. That should protect me from most projectiles. I'm just gonna head this way. So, yeah. Projectiles should be... I find it very difficult to get through and, and hit me. And I, I have no problem with that. going this way. It is the shop. I do believe in magic. Keep going. So because of that I'm more willing to do my orbital cube of meat thing. What's in here? A tarot deck. A soul heart. Take you as well. I mean tarot cards aren't bad. Might as well take them. See if we get anything worthwhile. It's nice to have a use item. Alright, so what I should do is blow up the ones in the middle. Gone. And you as well. Come on. You're almost dead. Boss rush is not happening. Like, we are far too slow. We can do what we can. Do I need that? I think I might. I did. So we can get in close every once in a while and deal massive damage with Cuban meat. We actually did get the devil room. Surprising. Take all the health. And yeah, I need mom's knife. Alright. Chances of speed running? Not happening. <laughs> Curse the blind. Um, so it's going to be all the way at the end of that path. So mom's knife deals massive, massive, massive damage. Curse the blind just means we can't see what items are in the shop or the item room. It's one of my least favourite curses. But we're going to the dark room, so it doesn't really matter. Well, actually it does. It's terrible no matter what spin you put on it. There we go. Anything good? Wheel of Fortune. I can put it down, blow it up. I mean, I could have played it for soul hearts, but ain't nobody got time for that. Especially not me. So thanks to my orbitals, these bone guys should not be a hassle. Unless they walk straight into me, which they can do. And because mom's knife is piercing, we can just pierce straight for enemies to fix skulls and kill them. Right, 
go in here. Oh, shit. Okay, Blood and the Martyr is just a flat damage up. I didn't mean to put down the bomb, which is why I basically went, oh, shit. Just in case anyone was worrying and was going to be like, Web, you swore. And yes, I do swear. At all. I, I am conscious of it and I'm trying to get slightly... Hey, I'm trying to get better. But... Just a knee-jerk reaction I have. Just like, oh, crap. Well, since there's two of them. Pick them both up. I fame Call to the Void and Demon Baby. Wouldn't have taken Demon Baby, but I fame when we take damage. We have a chance. Uh, we spawn a black ring. And with that ring, if we kill enemies with it, they have a chance to drop soul heart. Hey, uh, black hearts. Why did I say soul heart? And we also have unlimited keys for the floor, which is nice. Uh, Demon Baby is an auto turret. It will automatically fire enemies. It's not particularly good and it has a very short range. So since we're not making boss rush, we might as well try and min-max what we've got. Chances of doing hush are also quite slim. There are a couple of places for a secret room, which is why I'm not checking. Because I'm lazy. Why'd I go in here? Oh well. Mom's box, so it has a chance to drop a trinket and then double the effect of it. Um... You know, I might as well, like... I can donate some money at least. And by some I mean not a lot. And I'll make tons of money. But I'm gonna keep the deck of cards. Gotta keep that machine nice and full. Alright, thank you counterfeit penny. You have served us well. So unless we get like um unless we get what unless we get like five cents in the next few seconds uh we're not gonna get a arcade next floor it's not impossible just highly unlikely the world shows me the map layout Secret room is all the way back there, so I'm not going to touch it. Or I'm not going to go after it. I would happily touch it if I could. Hey, you remember when last run as Lazarus, we managed to clear like a depth sex sale without taking damage? That was awesome, wasn't it? So little Gish is actually a good familiar. Shoots slowing tears. I was pretty sure I was in there. Yes, I was. Alright, let's go. We'll use the deck cards immediately and then see what we get. The hangman gives me flight for a room. Keep the joker. What I should do... Blow these up. Adios! Of course you would. I don't even think the knife works with lump of coal. Doesn't matter if it does or not, because we've got it anyway. I just did that so I wasn't in that room anymore. So high man will let me fly for a room. That's nice. He's a cool dude. going this way. I knew there would be something up here. No, 
Now, homing tears might be able to get through the orbital. Or not. Stars, sure. Save me a key. That's anemic, which is an item that Lazarus has when he respawns. That is hilarious. Actually, what am I doing? Oh well. Um, so that's a slight range up. That is worthless. This could be the way forward. Steven, flat damage up, that's good. We're getting plenty of damage ups. And this is the boss. So I'm gonna do it in hopes we can maybe make hush. Which is unlikely. But I live in hope. Oh, of course you hit me, you bitch. I'm meant to go down to the dark room, aren't I? Yes, I am. I'm an idiot. This really is turning into a null run. Oh well. Curse the unknown, can't see my health. Going to assume the boss is up this way. Again, based on the formula of what would cause me the most mental anguish. So I guess we're going to the chest. Chest is infinitely more fun. I kind of want this. Like, this strikes me as really fun. I can't really afford all the keys though. I'll use it on this one though. That's a vision rune. This is where the top secret room is, so maybe the boss is over here. It is! Yes! Alright. Mama Gertie getting nice and close. And there we go, we did that quite easily. Take the pentagram for a damage up. And that's the Dark Jews respawn. But I need to do stuff as Lazarus. And I still have a respawn sitting in my back pocket, so the answer is no. So we should use the vision rune next floor, see if we can get the hush. And it will be basically a throwaway at that point. But we're doing it. So I go down. If we could get a book of Revely uh, no, book of Belial, we could get a good synergy going because that is like a, it gives you a multiplier if you get it with Blood of the Martyr, which we have. Anyway, anemic also causes us to attract toxic blood in the ground when we take damage, like we have done, because we are so good at this game. Why am I not using Tammy's head? That's what I want to know. It's like I'm bad at this game or something. Alright, library, are you anything good? Book of Revelations, that's... That would be the safer play, honestly. It would let me live. I'm gonna keep this, though, even though the Bible would one-hit kill. I just don't want to trek back. Take the key. We do need keys actually for the hush fight. Come on. Right. Keep going. We can make it. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. Unless you're watching this in a group setting, in which case, however many there are of you. Damn it. Can't afford to do that. Okay, we managed to do a fair bit of damage there. The knife must work then.
Got a double room, which we have just enough time to check. I'll take both of these. So contract from below causes double drops at the end of the room and Horror Babylon is a damage and a speed up if we have it active, which is a half heart or less, i.e. soul hearts. Okay. Actually, I should check the shop first, just in case there's anything good. Like something that would allow me to hold a second drink it. And I'll take this. It means that all door rooms will be... It will only cost a key to enter. I don't know if this actually works with the knife. And the goat head, you're a tiny bit late. But it's nice to know that you exist. I did ask. Does tractor beam even work with us? Seems to. I don't want Christmas cake and that rerolls my stats. Okay, so I don't want any of these. Cool, good stuff. It's a good card. Judgment, uh, put him down. Blow him up because I don't want that one. And we'll put the rest of the money back in the machine. Except we won't. So we'll take the key. <laughs> What's this? Magician, homing tears. Ooh. Okay. So with a full orbital, we should be okay. Like, we should be able to avoid most of the attacks. Of course, he is going to damage lock pretty quickly. Da by damage lock, I mean like our attacks are going to do less damage over time. Which is a bit unfortunate. You can see homing will try and move a little bit out of the way, if it can. This is actually very fun though. I have a chance! Especially with orbitals, like having a full free orbitals it's basically just guaranteeing that you won't get hit. They're like so perfectly spaced out. Right, let's keep going. Keep going. I'm going to stare at you in the face and jab my knife in you. And you're going to die. So this is not a null run. So we have unlocked the empty vessel, which is a good item. And I did pick up the Polaroid because I'm an idiot. But that's okay. We did something. I like doing something. I always like doing something in these runs. Alright, so I'm going to guess the boss is up here. No black hearts, really, guys? Okay, uh, shiny rock is probably more worth it to me. It'll sh it make tinted rocks more obvious, and if there's a possibility for a s black market or a trap door, it will show itself. That was actually kind of close. Alright. Take all the bombs. And I do mean all the bombs. 
so that we can do this room, even though it's a terrible idea. So one thing that might be worth doing is just getting up close to enemies and just jabbing the knife into them. Until they die. And got some black cards for that one. That's all in all I say this room was worth it. So are you the boss room? You are not. Oops. That, that was a unfortunate time for him to make his way over here. It happens, unfortunately. Alright, we need to go... I see you, Tinted Rock. I used to think it caused more Tinted Rocks to spawn. It doesn't. Still, we have extra keys, so we can open a couple of chests here and there. more keys. That's the contract from below taking effect there. Okay, quick check for tinted rocks real quick. Tinted rocks are slightly differently coloured. That's why I do it so quick. I'll see you in any. Keep going. This is the boss room. Okay. Jab the knife! And back up. And keep jabbing. We got it. Alright. So unless we somehow get Dad's key, we're not gonna fight Mega Saiyan, but that's fine, like... Okay, shield the t uh, lost contact should destroy all enemy tears. Mom's contacts freeze enemies in place and gives us mom transformation, which gives us a knife that trails behind us. I'm gonna pick these up just in case I haven't picked them up already. But I don't need either of these. And I don't know where the boss is gonna be. So we'll find out. There is a chance we can get more chests. So you know, never give up hope. Never surrender. I want to try and avoid picking up health ups. So many keys though. Jab a knife into him. Cool. Boss is not this way. Whoa, that was close. Drop extra money, so boss is going to have to be over this way then. And we have tons of bombs. We'll see if we can find the secret room. There are no obvious places. So. Or, you know, I could find it first try. That's always an option. Get away! Okay, hemorrhaging health a little. Well, cool. More hearts. Death is more dangerous, so he needs to go. 
Marcel, spawn the black horse for me, please. And thank you. Yeah, beautiful gentleman, you. Keep going this way. The annoying one. Troll bombs! I love troll bombs! Wow, that was a bit close. Okay, missed another boom, we'll pick it up, put it back down so that we're less likely to see it from a chest. But if we get another Wrath, we can still get another one. Oh, Tammy's head also does give extra damage to the tears it fires, so that'll probably be why it's almost one hitting everything. Alright, only two hits, we can do this. That was almost particularly easy. I'm kind of sad we didn't get to fight uh, the lamb. But that's going to do it for this episode of The Binding of Ice. Yeah. That's going to do it for this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, guys. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, please let me know by liking or commenting on the video. And subscribe if you haven't already seen more. Until next time, I'll be able to sell. Take care of yourself. See you in the next episode. Bye!